Good evening. One family looking at a big repair bill after a frightening experience underneath the gardener. Anna Vlahos is live with what might be the latest case of crumbling concrete from the aging expressway. Anna? You got you got it, Tom. It happened here at Lakeshore and Spadina. A big chunk of concrete, like the one that I'm holding in my hand right now, came crashing down onto a woman's vehicle. Yes, sir. So look at all the damage it caused. Take the piece and see where it came from. Like, you can tell if it's part of a road or part of a structure. There's damage on the roof. Smashed in glass. You can still see, like, giant pieces of... I mean, concrete. And even remnants of concrete tell the story of what happened to Ali Siddiqui's mom yesterday underneath the gardener. All of a sudden, I heard a big, loud, you know, like a bang. And uh, because I'm scared, so I closed my eyes. I noticed uh, my mom's vehicle, the windshield was completely shattered in, and there was debris all over her car. Puma Siddiqui was driving this minivan under the highway last night around 5 at Spadina and Lakeshore. And that's when Hummus says a large chunk of concrete similar to this one came crashing down onto her windshield and she was traumatized. Is she still shocked? Yeah, yesterday I have nightmares. Allie happened to be one car ahead of her and was stunned by the damage. I saw a giant piece of concrete about the size of this paper. That length? Out. Yeah, this length and about this width. Um, laying on the floor. Ali is a family physician and says if that massive piece of debris fell on a pedestrian, the person could have been seriously hurt. If that had fallen on someone's head, like, I, it was a big piece. It would have almost certainly been fatal. The city has not confirmed that slab of rock, in fact, fell from the gardener, and they are still investigating. We actually have found that frequently it's not from the actual gardener. Instead, it's uh, pieces of material that's been pushed off the gardener by trucks. Robinson says the city and Expects the expressway 24/7, and to avoid things like this, they have a chipping in the past where chunks of concrete have come tumbling off the gardener. And Robinson says the extreme cold weather does have an impact on the aging infrastructure. This cold weather is is hard on it. Can you say then that the gardener is safe? We can actually say with great confidence that the gardener is is safe, that it's structurally sound. But even though the city deems the gardener safe. Huma plans to stay far away from it. You don't want to drive underneath the no. garden anymore? <laughs> no. <laughs> and it will likely be a few days before Hamas vehicle is fixed and she is stuck with a $300 deductible. Now Ali says no one from the city has contacted him or his mother regarding what happened here. Live at Lakeshore and Spadina, Anna Vlahos, back to you, Tom.